In this video, what I'm going to tell you will guarantee that you will stop eating sweet foods. Hello! You can like and subscribe, and press the bell icon so you receive alerts for future content. Today, I am here with a very important topic, discussing sugar and sweets. Why is it such a big problem? There have been about 73 meta-analyses, large studies, and approximately 1,800 smaller studies. Research papers have shown that severe health issues can occur if you don't control your sugar intake and consume too many sweets. Further studies involving around 8,600 participants have also revealed very harmful effects on health. When it comes to harmful effects, there are about 45 or more, including sugar, blood pressure, depression, heart attacks, strokes, paralysis, cancer, and early death. The World Health Organization states that you can consume up to 12 teaspoons of sugar daily, but even this should be evaluated as it might not be pure. There's a need for more research as we don't fully understand how harmful it can be for you. Another misconception is that if someone is overweight, they are assumed to have many health problems, whereas if someone is thin, they are thought to be fine. Nowadays, even thin people are having heart attacks and developing diabetes. When it comes to diabetes and other diseases, being thin or overweight is a separate issue. The relationship with sweets, stress, and other factors is more complex. Some thin people have excessive visceral fat, which can lead to fatty liver and metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome combines several conditions into one, with symptoms including high cholesterol, abdominal issues, high sugar levels, and liver fat accumulation. If your metabolism is functioning well, you can lead a good, long life. Sugar is highly toxic, containing half glucose and half fructose. We discuss glucose a lot, but not fructose, which is also harmful. Some studies suggest that fructose is as toxic as alcohol for your body. Both fructose and alcohol harm your liver, increase hypertension, cause heart attacks, insulin resistance, liver fat, and pancreatitis. Previously, sweets were hard to come by and required effort to obtain. Now, sweets are readily available, leading to these problems. Excess sugar is easily accessible everywhere. You need to make an effort to control it yourself. Many people say that sugar is also a sooner, and sweets are necessary. Yes, sweets are necessary, but we are talking about sugar and fructose. If you need something sweet, you can use keto-friendly products. They provide sweetness without causing insulin spikes. Another option is fruits. Fruits are essential for your body and have many advantages. They can fulfill your sweet cravings and don't cause insulin spikes. Many things behave like sugar, but don't spike insulin. You can opt for fruits as natural sweetness. Excess of anything is bad. A gentleman came to me saying his sugar is uncontrolled because he eats 10 mangoes daily. Obviously, eating 10 mangoes will not control sugar. Reducing it to one or half a mango can fulfill your sweet cravings and solve your problem. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.